32-year-old Danish photojournalist Martin Stampa lives in Copenhagen, where he works for national newspapers and magazines. His projects include prize-winning photographic essays about his younger brother and the challenges of ethnic youth in a small provincial town in Denmark, as well as a feature story about a young fisherman's attempt to escape the influence of bad company by taking to the sea. The small West African country of Guinea-Bissau is not only one of the poorest nations on earth, it also has one of the highest rates of child mortality. One in every five children do not live beyond the age five. Bandom Health Project is a medical research center in the country's capital, Bissau. Established in 1978 by Danish medical anthropologist Dr. Peter Obi, who still leads the project today. A cornerstone in the research is scrutinizing the effects of new vaccines, vitamin A supplements, and other health improvements. Back in the 1990s, the Bandom Health Project discovered that a new measles vaccine administered in low-income countries doubled the mortality rate of girls, potentially costing the lives of 500,000 African girls every year had it not been withdrawn. More recently, research from the Bandom Health Project concludes that the combination of the DTP vaccine and a vitamin A supplementation given at birth, as the World Health Organization recommends, seems to be greatly increasing mortality rate for girls. On an African scale, it amounts to approximately killing 400,000 girls every year. The WHO has dismissed these findings as insufficiently documented and claims that it would be unethical to continue randomized research, since it may result in some children not getting the vaccines recommended by the WHO. Martin Stampa has a goal to make a documentary film investigating the controversy surrounding the Bandom Health Project's research results and the World Health Organization's vaccine recommendations. The first stage will be a photographic feature story and a documentary short, which is intended to pave the way for the second stage of the project, the actual documentary film. Thank you for your support. Yeah,